Good evening, everybody. This is Silk. We are doing Operation Casino Royale. Oh, KMT USA turns seven. I had a whole bunch of plans. A little. Uh, what's going on? I kind of changed my mind. I think I might do it after Jeremy Eight goes. Um, yeah, <laughs> kind of have some ideas. I don't want to chat about them just yet on an open channel. So uh, that'll come a little bit later. But we're going to right now get into the KMT and USA. A uh, real simple turn, although we do have a combat, believe it or not. Not something that happens very often, but the uh, board situation is what it is. Uh, KMT starts with three income, I believe. Right? Did I have eight? I think I'm at three. Uh, so we don't buy anything. Uh, we will go ahead and go into our combat phase. We are going to very bravely move eight infantry from Yunnan to Sikang. We're going to take all three artillery and hope for a first strike. And then we're also going to take two AAA with us. That leaves me with 10, right? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That should be enough. We'll add the cav just so I have something else just in case I need it. And then these two guys from the north are going to come down as well from Singhai. So it's a total of 10 infantry, but I got to actually roll them separately because the retreats are separate. Um, this is way more units than you need for a fight, but because of the retreat rule, uh, it makes your moves all messed up when you're KMT. So we'll get to that fight here. Make sure our dice are looking good. All right. So first thing is the three first strikes from the artillery. They are at twos. Uh, six, and an 11. So those are all misses. That's crappy. All right. Uh, so we got two infantry coming from the north. Um, I'll boost both of these guys with the artillery. Uh, so these guys are coming from Singhai. They get a seven and a nine. So they don't retreat, but they don't hit either. Uh, I then have, we'll do the cavalry. Actually, I gotta, we'll do, let's do it different. We'll do a cavalry at red, and a blue is the third boosted infantry. He's coming from the south. Uh, three and a six, so still don't have my hit, but no retreats yet. Uh, and that leaves seven, right? Seven infantry left. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Seven infantry at one. Thank God. <laughs> Did not want to deal with a second round of retreats here. Although that worked out not too bad. Uh, so we do get our hit. One guy runs away in shame. So we'll pull him back onto the card. But both of the guys from the north make it. So let me move them around a little bit. And then he, of course, has a counterattack from his militia. Single militia, added two. And he missed. All right, so yay for that. Um, we'll get back to the camp teacher here. Not there's very much left. We are going to place the supplies that we got from Commonwealth. So that lets us add. One infantry and take off a militia. All right. So here's where my count is. I'm at 10, 12, 13, right? 10, 12, 13, 13 infantry here. And then 6, 8, 9, 3, uh, 6, 8, 9, 3, 
Artillery 2 AAA, Cav are in Kang, and then Mountain AAA is in Yunnan, and then two militia are in Yunnan. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, CCP, or CCP, <laughs> KMT, uh, saved its three and has six. All right. Now, fun stuff is for the U.S. here. Got a couple things to do. By far the most important thing is this money roll. This is a single D12. Uh, I need a seven to move ships, right? Or is it six? I think it's a six to move ships. Uh, so we'll see what we get here. Oh, <laughs> such a tease. <laughs> oh, lovely. So five, that gets us to 34. No ship moving for the good guys. Boo. All right. Um, that makes my turn pretty short then. Yeah, what do you do? Throw my dice around. All right. U.S. Tech rolls. Um, it's basically the eight minus the heavy armor. So it's uh, factories, construction, jets, heavy ships, LRA, bombers, rockets. Here we go. Um, proof factories. Six, that was a six, <laughs> not a one. So miss, let's see. Uh, construction, oh, it's a five. This is looking back to be one of my uh, two for turns here. Uh, jets, well, there's at least one, so we got jets. What I really want here is large ships. Got to keep pace with the Japanese. That's a nine, all right, now we're on it. Um, long range aircraft at an eight. That's a four. And then our last two heavy bombers. That's a four also. So that's a miss. And uh, rockets. That's a seven. So it was, in fact, back to the two fur. Uh, it's kind of swinging back and forth here, but we're still pretty happy. With the U.S. Tech program, uh, that'll put us back under 50%, I think. But I'm right at about 50%, which is a pretty good, pretty good place for the U.S. to be. Um, now I got to figure out if I'm gonna change my bike or not. Kind of had some plans for ship stuff. If it doesn't work so well if I don't get them built. 11, 21, 25, and 3, and 3, 21, 24, 39, so that's 39. And we'll not deviate from our plans here. Okay. Unless I want to drat. Well, you know, I will be able to move my ships next turn no matter what. How badly do I want that carrier? I think I want it. All right. So we advance the carrier to stage two. Uh, this is a neutral generic lend lease battleship. Um, it's marked in blue because I don't have any white battleships. Um, but this is not for France. This is just a generic land lease battleship. Um, I'll assign the nation to it when I deliver it, but it starts on stage one. Uh, an airborne and a marine for the U.S. And then a tactical for the KMT and a uh, fighter for uh, U.K. And as we noted earlier, I'm going to have 34 at the end of the turn. All right, so U.S. moves, I don't get to move any boats. A um, couple of minor things, just so I have stuff I can do with my planes. He's gonna fly, and he's gonna rail. So 
one, two, actually, I guess I can rail the plane, too, if I need to. One, two, three, four, five, he doesn't have to, though, but yeah, we'll get the tactical to DC. So I got both tacticals and the fighter in DC. I'm going to rail that light armor up to... I'll take it to New Orleans. Um, and then... One, two... Oh, one more rail. Oh, no, because I'm going to place that guy. That's why. I'm going to place my Marine. That's why it's okay. Put the airborne in Chicago. Put the Marine in DC. And that's the US turn. Well, I guess I gotta let some of at least. The fighter goes to London. And the tactical, of course. Goes to Union. So Union does have a tactical fighter in it now. Or tactical bomber. So. And that's all we got. Uh, maybe do a recap for you guys a little bit after I see Germany's over what they're doing and what they're doing all that. But I uh, kind of want to do that after they do their big turn to doom. So I'll chat with you all tomorrow. Have a good night.